Okay, so the first part of the story is the exposition. exposition. We all do that as one? Exposition. Good. And then the second part of the story <clears throat> is called the rising action. Can we all try that together? Rising, rising action. action. And the third part, the big part, is the best part. It's where the good guy meets the bad guy, and the dog meets the cat, and everything goes crazy. It's called the climax. Can we all do that together? <laughs> climax! <laughs> We're hungry. And why is that my concern? That's not your concern, but that's why you're so selfish. I see. Being selfish is not nice. I'm not supposed to be nice. I am the troll! Why do they keep doing that? I don't know, but I like yeah, it. Yeah, probably because you're so selfish. Don't call me names! It's, you can't eat the animals across the bridge to the other side. Oh, eating animals? What do you think I? We're here. We did it! We're at the climax! I know! This is pretty scary. Yeah, that troll is pretty scary. <laughs> but, you know, I just think it's actually uncomfortable because of the conflict. Oh, uh... Conflict? Yes, conflict. Don't think of conflict as being scary, just think of it as being difficult. Oh, I do feel conflicted. <laughs> just because something is scary doesn't mean it has to be difficult, okay? You just have to overcome your fears and consider what might be best for someone other than yourself, which is what makes it difficult. Really? Really. Now, the troll just didn't consider what might be best for the other animals. He didn't even know what being selfish means. Sometimes all it takes a conversation to avoid conflict. Well, well, why would the troll do that? Well, number one, he is a troll. Oh, right. <laughs> number two, sometimes people just need to talk about their feelings and then they'll realize that the problem isn't really a problem, it's just a misunderstanding. I don't know about that. It looked like that troll was about to eat Papago. Really? That's not what I thought was about to happen. Oh, yeah, well, how do you know? Uh, well, we are the actors. Oh, right. But, but how are the goats and the troll going to avoid conflict in our story? I bet we'll find out if we finish the fairy tale. Oh, right. Well, let's just back up a little okay, bit. Okay, great. Okay. Sorry for the interruption, okay. everybody. Dylan, okay. Dylan, okay. Yeah, okay, thanks. Don't call me names! Why not? Well, it's not very nice. Well, now there's eating little animals going across the other side. Eating animals? What do you think I am? A monster? I am the troll! Oh. Wait! Wait, wait. Here. What is this? It's food. Food? What kind of food? It's a pizza. A pizza? Yes, it's very delicious. Well, why do you give me a pizza? Well, you, you see, me and, 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 and Pa had a deal that I'd rather ask you politely where I could do something nice for you, and I got to choose, and he would do whatever I didn't want to do. Uh, I chose to do something nice for you, and he could ask politely, but I figured he would just say no, and then you would eat. The cool arm gestures <laughs> How does that work? Well, let me tell you. Um, do you know what addition is? I think so. It's, um, it's, um, <clears throat> it's actually kind of hard to explain. It's okay. According to the dictionary, everyone, addition is the process of adding things together. Yeah, but what does adding mean? Well, adding is when you, you sort of just put things together. So let's pretend that my arms are french fries. How many of you guys like french fries? Mm -hmm. Yeah? Mm -hmm. So, okay, so if my hands were french fries, right, my arms were french fries, excuse me, I would put one up and then put another one up. And now I have two french fries. I don't get it. It's okay, do it with me. We'll do it one more time. Put one french fry up, and then you put another french fry up, and now you're making the addition simple. Well, wow, I see it! Oh, but what if I start with two french fries and then want to add two more? I only have two arms. It's okay. Uh, I would just eat two of my french fries to make it easier, but you bring up a good point about how we do the next level. Three bears made their way through the front door. <laughs> I thought I told you to check the door. Well, I thought I did. Well, I told you to check it. If I did everything you told me, don't start with me, Earl. Wendy, somebody's been here eating all of our porridge and sleeping in all of our beds. Look, she's waking up. Who's there? Who's that talking? Woo! <laughs> Holy, watch your tongue, Junior, sorry. Who, what, how, where? <laughs> Who, what, how, what? How are you talking? By moving our lips. But you're bare. And you were sleeping in my bed. What? Oh my goodness, I'm so sorry. Sorry, sorry is an argument. Wait, let her finish. I really am sorry. Grandmother warned me about this. Letting my curiosity get the better of me. I really am sorry, and I meant no harm. And I worked really hard to make sure I did everything just as efficiently as possible. I, I used my thermometer and my tape measure, and I found just the right size and temperature and everything. You did all of that? Yes. I wanted to make sure that I was as careful with your home as I would be with my own. Well, that seems like a lot of extra work. Well, she's curious like me. 
You're curious too? Mm -hmm. We spent the whole day in the woods examining all the leaves and all the trees. Have you ever thought about calculating how many trees and how many leaves we have in the forest? No, I'm not very good with arithmetic. That's okay. It's what I do best. Come on, let's go. Now, wait a minute. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, it's right. We need to talk about how you trespassed, and we don't even know your name. Trespass? That, that's right now, Earl. Oh, I didn't mean to trespass. I've never even heard that word before. Well, let's start with you telling us your name. I'm Goldilocks. Well, Goldilocks, I'm Dolores. This is Earl, and I'm Winston. Hi, Winston. Now, we know you didn't mean to trespass, but that still doesn't mean you didn't do it. What is trespassing? Trespassing is when you enter into someone's home and take something that is in your home. I certainly didn't mean to offend you. And we can see that, but you need to be aware of your actions and not just do whatever you want. That makes a lot of sense. You see, Earl, somebody thinks I make a lot of sense. Well, <laughs> I, I didn't mean to hurt your feelings. I was just so hungry and so tired. And Grandmother always tells me that what is mine is yours and what is yours is mine, and we should never be obsessed over material items. Oh, thou hast hit it. Come, sit on me. Asses are made to bear, and so are you. Women are made to bear, and so are you. No such shit as you, if me you mean. Oh, now come, Kate. I will not burden thee, knowing that you be but young and light. <laughs> So did you know that Shakespeare wrote 37 plays and 154 of those sonnets? So it's quite a bit to go through. So about 19 of those plays are considered comedies or romances, leaving about 18 based in history. So Caleb and I are not going to spend too much time in history plays today. We're going to skip straight ahead to the funny. So a lot of people don't realize just how funny Shakespeare's plays still are and just how many of his comedies inspired modern comedies you might binge watch on Netflix every day. So one of Shakespeare's favorite comedic situations to write about, other than lovers, was that of mistaken identities. And he wrote about it in almost every single one of his comedies. Now this is also a good time to tell you that all Shakespeare's comedies are also called romances, because <coughs> most of the time they include a love plot. And I do love thee. Therefore, go with me. I'll give thee fairies to attend on thee, and they shall fetch thee jewels from the deep, and sing while thou unpressed flowers dost sleep. And I will purge thy mortal grossness so that thou shalt like an airy spirit go. <laughs> Come, sit thee down upon my flowery bed, while I thy amiable cheeks do coy, and stick musk roses in thy sleek smooth head, and kiss thy fair large ears, my gentle joy. I must to the barber, for methinks I am a marvelous hairy about the face. And I'm such a tender ass that if my hair do tickle me, I must scratch. <laughs> what? Wilt thou hear some music, my sweet love? I have a reasonable good ear for music. Let's have the tongs and bows. Or say, sweet love, what thou desirest to eat. <laughs> <laughs> Truly, I'm a peck of provender. I can munch your good dry oats, but methinks I have a desire for a bottle.